Hello? So let's answer problem 118. So it says, a 200 mm diameter pulley is prevented from rotating relative to 60 mm diameter shaft by a 70 mm long key as shown in the figure. If the torque T equals 2.2 kN meter is applied to the shaft, determine the width B, this one. If the allowable shearing stress in the key is 60 mega Pascal. So, let's start with the given. Okay. So, you have here given. So, you have uh, 200. The diameter of the pulley it's uh, 200 mm. Okay. Uh, the diameter of the shaft it's 60 mm and the key this one this is the key it is in there so that is uh, the length what's that again that's 70 mm okay then the torque it's 2.2 kilonewton meter okay the allowable shearing stress in the key, so we are not repairing the key. Don't uh, don't look at the pulley. Don't look at the bell. Don't look at the shaft. Look at the key. So this is where uh, we are studying. So that is sixty mega pascal. Okay. So the required we are required to compute for the width B. Okay, this one. Okay. Now, the solution. So, how to solve for the width B given you have a shearing stress? So, the failure of this key is shearing. Okay. We are not yet discussing about bearing stress or any other stresses but shearing stress. So, the shearing stress, for example, this is the key. I will draw the key. So, something like that. Okay. Now, the key at this part, this will experience a shear. Napupunit yan, masisira. Okay. The shearing area is the red area. Okay. And, that red area, you have B times the length of the key okay the length of the key is given that is 70 mm and the stress is given by v over area okay and the stress the area would now be length times b Okay, now, if you have the shearing force, you can now solve for the, uh, the width B, but unfortunately you don't have a force. Now, if you look at the figure, okay, uh, I will just draw a front view front view of this figure now uh, okay so you have the sh uh, the key you have here the key okay and you have here the shaft okay then you have the pulley okay this is the pulley. Yeah. Now, uh, this one experiences force B, or let's call that force a key. Now you have here a 
uh, radius, radius ng shaft, and that radius ng shaft, RS, is equivalent to DS, diameter of the shaft, over 2. Now, you're given with the torque. The torque is 2.2 kilonewton meter. Okay? Now, uh, torque is actually the radius times the force. In this case, the torque is equivalent to RS then FK okay or to change it you now have DS over 2 then FK is the same as B so now you, you now have V that is equivalent to 2 torque then you have DS so if you have V you can compute for B you can compute for the the width or the force, shear force. Okay. Uh, now, I think this is given and this is given. We can now proceed in computation, in computing for the uh, shear force. So, the shear force now would be, this is 2 times, uh, huh, 2.2 kilonewton meter. Actually, we, can, we have to convert that Okay, that is 1,000 Newton in 1 kilonewton. And this one is divided by the DS. The DS is 60 mm. And convert that into meter, it will become 1 meter, it's 1,000 mm. The shear force, in this case, it's actually 73333. Uh, 3333 I usually have for decimal places okay so that's the shear force now going back to this equation if you have the shear force you can now compute for the B the B is actually shear force shear stress then you have the length the shear force is 73 oh, sorry, 3 3 Point three 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 that is Newton and this one is sixty Newton mm squared multiplied by the length of seventy mm okay so the unit Newton here will cancel cancel so you now have millimeter millimeter is seventeen point forty six zero three mm so, this would be the answer. So, the width of your uh, key should be something like this one. Okay? And the length should be this. Now, the width should not be lesser than 17.46. If it's lesser, it means it will shear or it will mapoon it. Yan. So, ganyan lang yan. And we will discuss a little further in if you reach uh, machine design class. So, that's it now for today.